Since you're a general goods trader, can you just buy these? Wow. It's just there is something super expensive in here. Wow. Shimzil, sharp blade one handed. Fortify sneak skill and chameleon. Where did I get that? Wow. I didn't remember that I had it. This is super expensive. And helpful because we can sneak for 30 seconds and chop 10 to 14. Well, it doesn't do poison damage though, but it does make good amount of damage. What is this short blade? Short blade, so it's the same, same skill. Doesn't tell me what what, ma uh, what material it's made of though. Oh, there we go. Let's sell these three then. And these three. So the waste works, you say. Still trying to figure out how I'm going to find this woman. Well, let's first speak to Eraldil as we're here ready. We might just do that. If I can help, I will, but don't take too much time. Yes, ma'am, I think you actually can help. You, you see, I have this letter for you um, from... Um, damn it, I forgot his name. I'm so, Gadain, that was his name. He thinks I might be interested in him. <laughs> That's a ridiculous notion. The very thought, insane. I mean, has he seen himself in the mirror lately? I'm sure he's a decent enough sort, but... That's ridiculous. He might be more suited for my cousin Glethel. She's lowborn, plain, and desperate for a husband. But me? You can tell Gadain that you've spoken to Ereldil and you're not interested. Who's Glethel then? She's a decent, if rather common sort. I mean, I don't have much to do with her. She's the plain, not too bright. But she's not a bad person for what she is. You can find her at the Elven Nations. She's a serving girl. I don't... Weird way of whistling. I don't think that... I would be interested in that sort of person. Like, only seeing... Yeah, that's, a, that's something that I can't say in English, only in German. Um, like, only looking at the first appearance of people, I really despise that. Okay, but let's let's tell him the bad news. Yes, I've spoken to Araldil. She said she wanted nothing to do with me, but that's awful. Yeah, she also said it in a very awful way. I was certain she'd at least consider the idea. Well... I'll have to go with my backup plan. You have a backup plan? Well, I figured there was a slight chance she wouldn't be interested in me right away, so I had an alchemist mix up a special potion for me. For anyone else, it will seem a normal health potion, but if Araldil drinks it, she'll find herself incredibly attracted to me. Perhaps you'll deliver it to her for me? Uh, to be honest, I'm I'm not really for like tricking people into that, so I think I'm going to ask him to speak with her cousin instead. Her cousin, you say? I suppose this was a pretty ridiculous scam, and if her cousin has half of Eraldith's beauty, she'll still be twice as beautiful as any other woman I've met. Perhaps I'll look her up sometime, friend. Thank you for your help. Quickly, Outlander. I have... Yeah, no, I'm not doing the voice of this type of people. So, they were seen here at the Hlalu compound. Woman with a dagger. There's not even houses here. Let me just go around the compound one time. So I see if there's some doors. 
Oh, I could check out the water and underworks. They could be hiding there. It will be something to try. Oh. Oh. Speak There's someone Canada. standing around here. And they and he doesn't He doesn't have anything to add. Seems like there is no entrance down here, so I'm going to go back up. So we go downstairs and check the canal works. Or canal works. Let's wait for an hour for fatigue to wear down. There we go. And the latest rumors is again the ahead. kill the two. Or I suspect it's a person with chameleon or something like that. Or as they said, some someone with a paralyzed spell. These are the ancestral faults. I mean, they could, they could as well hide in there, mind you. This is where we have to go. There is nothing and over here. There is also just another set of stairs. Now we can go into the underworks. Which usually is full of rats. The sewer system. So this is his. This is a rather hard search. Oh, there's someone here. A dreamer. We have you in your discerning eye, Nighty. We see you waking and sleeping. A discerning eye? My starkest madness seeming in divine sense seeming is divinest sense. Come. Grasp the chain and prove your sane. That's weird. There's no time for talk now. Go. Yeah, y you're weird. I'm going to go. Dreamer. And I've contracted with Bane. Hopefully it's a common disease. Failed casting twice. Oh, I can rest until healed. Even better. Yep, it was a common disease. Perfect. The rat can swim. I would need to check if I can actually... get back up there when I'm in the water. Okay, there must be somewhere where the rat has gotten up. I'm to take the rat meat. And this is just going to lead me back upstairs. There's four of these, so I can just go. Yeah, I can just go downstairs and There's then. No time for talking. 
go. Here. Go the other side and go down again. And then we'll see what's on the other side. There's a hole in the wall. A hole in the wall. There's a whole cavern here. Complete with slaughterfish. Let me try the um, the other weapon on the slaughterfish. Nothing, but there's a corpse who has a rusty key, and I guess the rusty key is used to lock this chest. And there is a viper blade, chest of fire, fire shield. Armor rating 11. This is just what I have, but it's cast when used, and I always forget to use things. So I'm just going to sell it. There's also lockpicks and probes in here. And I can't take these battle axes. I'm nearly full already regarding regarding uh, carrying capacity. So why is there a corpse on a boat in this cavern? I mean, this, this is just a small... Does he get here with a bow? Oh, this is most confusing. So we are allowed to rest until healed in these caverns. Which is also rather interesting. And our athletic skill increased. There's another rat. This one is... it is still diseased. I thought it wasn't diseased because it took more damage. And usually the diseased rats are tougher. That's basically it. So there was just this cavern with some loot. The ends aren't exits, unlike they were in the puzzle canal. Um, Quit playing this on that person I already talked to. So let's head back upstairs. This is a most confusing quest, or rather puzzling, because I have no. Hurry this up, will you? Yeah, you are the one holding me up. I have no clue where to ask. If I can help, I will. But don't take too much time. Hmm. Well then, let's get out of the Halalu compound and check if we can find, if we can get more duties in Aldrun or if we're going to ask for advantage, advantage advancement there. So there is one exit. Isn't there a boat? There is the boat, of course, in the south. Of course it is in the south. And there is a bridge to the outside over here. So 
so you could even enter city of Vivek through the Halalu compound. That's also interesting. She doesn't fit the description. It was with a skirt and natch leather armor. I'm waiting. She, she doesn't wear natch leather armor. I'm pretty sure in the end I'm going to, to find directly the person I'm looking for and she's going to attack me or something like that. But I'm going to go and travel to the foreign quarter so I can take um, the guild transportation. Can you and as always, question? we enter Aldrun and there's a sandstorm. This is typical for this city. waving there. Yes. So we're going to ask How do you do? Yeah, this person. Do you have any duties for me? Um no. So I'm looking for an advancement. No, oh, I'm mighty the novice. And they wanted to ask me until I'm curate. False incarnate Margan Mial Kashishi. I think I already did this quest. The Mial Kashishi quest where I was rescuing someone from the Daedric um, um, followers. Just clicking things where I know that they should be gray. Okay, let's try advancement again. So now I'm, now I'm an initiate. Now I'm an acolyte, so I did enough things. Okay, to become an adept, I need to redouble my training and practice my skills. Of course, it doesn't tell me which skills. Maybe if I ask about the temple. Um, well, that was not what I was looking for. Like something he already told me. Could be, no, he has not the... Ah, there it is, requirements. The temple admires those who have the personality to lead others and the will to resist the world's temptations. When it cannot be avoided, we fight with staffs and hammers, armored only in our faith. We study restoration and alchemy, so, the, so it's like um, personality and willpower, restoration alchemy, to heal the people, and mysticism to learn more of the divine. We also study conjuration to speak with the spirits of our ancestors and protect against those who traffic with the four corners. Okay, so new recording, new luck, I guess. Um, it's been I, a month-ish since I recorded last, even though this is mid-episode. I have done a bit of research. As you can see, the to-do list has changed, or at least it works again, thanks to me changing something to my scripts. Um, what it was a little man. issue. I'm, I'm currently talking to the people on YouTube. Thank you very much. Let me just go back here, even though it's on I don't want this guy to just talk. Okay, so um, it, it was it was actually an issue of um, 
cross origin requests and I changed that a little bit now it works now it's no longer a cross origin request for those who are uh, in the technical uh, field that said I actually also did some research about what we did what we have not done where we have quests I consulted I actually consulted a wiki to see where the quests are so as you can see um, there are some quests that we have open that are interesting and we can also ask some people for more duties and we need to advance to get more duties from people so the first two are for, uh, the first four entries uh, apart from the story time which I will record later are to arrange a meeting with the wise woman of the Ahmusa camp and let me close the to-do list this will be here um, I think it would is it's it's close to the Zainab camp or we need to ask there something like that then we need to get a ceramic bowl for our good friend Ajira um, which I think is something we're going to do very soon and we can ask Renis Ephris for my duties which is the guild steward in um, Balmora we can ask Trebonius who is in Vivek if I'm not mistaken either here or in Vivek and we need to advance in the major guild which I don't want to do unless we have done all the duties um, and um, regarding the the Telvani um, we want to give the um, scamp skin back or we want to give the skin to to Master Aaron for which we need to learn com uh, some command humanoid spell in order to get that to get that guard out of the out of the way um, we can ask I, I basically checked everyone that we can ask um, off stream without saving so we can ask Felisa a lesson in the council she has course for us also we have the two books that we can bring to Gnesis um, we can go to Tel Arun to get the Drake's pride and of course then are there are the temple quests where we basically can't do anyone and any quest before we advance more which requires us to learn more skills we checked last time that we need some conjuration and stuff like that also conjuration is what the Telvani favors so I think I'm going to start focusing actually on, on conjuration so, so conjuring stuff also one thing that I want to do is um, to enchant stuff in order to be able to have spells saved in in my in my uh, equipment and for this I need to be able to get uh, to get souls also I want to craft my own um, magicka potions for which I will need to kill I think it was scums I need to kill a certain certain kind of, of daedra creature which drops daedra hearts and those are an important ingredient for um, restore magicka potions so this is what also I'm going to do learned to to conjure up these creatures this is not not yet in the list of things that I want to do but there you see there is a lot of things to do and honestly I'm now at first going to give back those two books and then we're going to get their ceramic bowl Maybe we can also do so in Gnesis because we can take the Silt Strider there. Now let me hide the to-do list and let's get on with that, I say. Okay. Let's head out here. As I said, I did do some research. I checked on quests where I was unsure if we had finished them yet. Um, checked their status. For example, I already, I always had in my to-do list that we still have to uh, get the dwarven plants from the ruins ne near Gnesis, which we already completed. And I thought we already did the ceramic bowl thing, and uh, and the scum skin, skin thing actually, that we already finished that one, but we could not. So I checked on these quests in you know, quest log and everywhere. So let's head up here and try to Gnesis. But first, let's hear a little bit about Aldrun. Aldrun is the district seat of House Redoran and a large settlement. Most citizens are dumb. Most are House Redoran members or followers. Here. Wrong house. The Redoran council chambers and Redoran manors are north inside the shell of an ancient, extinct giant crab. 
Most of the corner clubs, merchants and guild halls are in the southwest and central part of town. Aldrun Temple is to the east, that's where we've just been. Fort Buckmouth, the Le Legion garrison, is south of town, outside the town wall. Well, we want to go to places. That's way, way nicer. Oh, there are people fighting. Ah, I think I think we left Gnesis um, while they were fighting week. with... Um, let's... Could it be that they are actually... That one of them is accidentally hitting the other orc? Your bones will be my dinner. How about we use this as an opportunity to summon something? Um, we have the Conjuration Trainer, which summons a Bone Walker for a second, which of course doesn't doesn't do much, but we can use the regular Bone Walker spell. And we fail, but that's just like that. There it is. The Bone Walker does not do anything unless we attacked. And now the Bone Walker actually fights for us. Yes. Your bones will be my dinner. Is this a super strong Kwama Forager, or why did it kill one of the orcs and my Bone Walker for that matter? Wow. This one. It's so strong I can't even I can't even um, interact with it. But I can interact with Ugash Bro Batul because they are dead and um, this is not stealing. And I'm over encumbered. Um, and I need to learn the buttons again. Ah, these troubles. Okay. So there is um, very heavy stuff there. I don't need the heavy stuff. I can just leave it here. Mm. And I guess this has a high value and a lightweight. Weight 16, weight 20. And now we can just walk over and sell stuff. And I know that for a fact that, that the temple actually has a merchant in front. Okay, so by now I have sold this poor chaps, this poor guard's stuff. I mean, we can't let Ugash grow tools and stuff with the waste can. And we will definitely use that money for the greater good. I also real quick fetched something to drink, so if you don't have something to drink right now, I know this must be around the middle of the episode, but still, fetch something to drink, have a sip, and I also made myself some tea, so we are ready to go. So let us bring the books to that guy. We really like the foliage here. Um, the two books, Shunak's Fire and Faith and Antecedents of Dwemer Law, I think it was here. Yes, Arf and there it is. This is where our man lives. And I also checked, and he's also part of the Telvani house. So, technically, this actually is a Telvani quest. So I also just marked it as such in my, in my little software. But still, as you may see, I am a bit confused as to where he is. Sir, where are you? Where were you hiding? Okay, so there is a bed to sleep here. There is the summoning room key. Let's first of all rest here until healed. It should be up here. It should be upstairs. Let's let's just head around here if this seat or you know what? Let's take a look on the map. Can't zoom in, but it, this does look right. And I guess if we go here then we should head yeah, this is this is what I was looking for. The way upstairs to the summoning room. And then I actually should be able to talk to the guy. 
because we already got the quest from him. There's a Daedroth guarding everything. And there you go. I ha have you found a copy of Junak's Fire and Faith? Yes, actually I did. And here it is. This is one of the three books I was looking for. Speak with me again when we've delivered all three. Well, I also have the, let me real quick mark this as done. And the antecedents um, of Dwemer Law. There. I have that book for you too. Good. This is the last of the three books I was looking for. Please accept these trinkets of mine. I no longer have any use of them. So we got on Ducy's key an amulet, a second barrier belt, and Surafact. Let us look at these trinkets. A warm welcome to you. Thank you to you too. Let me just go away here so you don't talk to me all the time and check the trinkets that we got. So we have an amulet with paralyze on target and frost damage on target, which is pretty neat. We have a ring with open on touch, which we already have, I think. On Doozy's open door, 50 points on touch, yes. So this is just like, as I said, this is a charged spell. We have a, she a belt which generates a 10 point shield which isn't that good. And we have Fortify Skill Acrobatics twice on a pair of shoes. On the other hand, these pair of shoes, um, I guess they remove our griefs. Let's try this. Uh, ah, no, I can't wear shoes because I am a beast race. Okay. I forgot that this was something. So basically we can sell all of these, but um, I do want to have some some Enchantments on my gear later. Scroll of healing. Okay. So let me cross off to bring the books over to him. And let's see if he has some more duties for us. First of all, can you tell me about this book that I brought you? Okay, only that I brought it to him. This. Can you tell me something about Darius? Well, he plays this role in town, and best keep his hands out of my business. I can understand this. Do you by chance know about the Dwemer language? The Dwemer language is unknown, perhaps unknowable. Some Dwemer books, especially records dating from after the founding of Restain, were written in Altmeris, making them accessible to modern scholars. However, even in Altmeris, many Dwemer terms remain uncertain. As the books and other artifacts in Dwemer ruins rarely show signs of wear and age, I believe that the Dwemer knew of a preservative effect, perhaps a device still active which denies or controls the earth bones governing time and decay. Hmm, thank you. I'm just going to go through all the blue things now. Can you tell me something about the Dwemer ruins? You seem to truly have an interest in the dwarves, so I will tell you this. Sneak into Gnesis Agmine. I heard they made a most unusual discovery recently. Okay, we've already been there. Uh, so what about the Fire and Faith book? Oh, you already brought me that? Uh, yeah. Can you tell me something about Gnesis? Everyone here leaves me alone. That's how I like it. Okay, I should take a hint, but still I'm going to ask him about the Hanging Gardens. So, you found a book. Oh, let me see. Yes, this is written in both Dremor and Altmeris. I would keep this book somewhere safe. Perhaps you will find another, uh, other books in the Dwemer language. You could use this book to translate them. Or, if you find anything of interest, bring both the books to me. Okay, so he does not want to be my patron. I guess this is for, um, for advancements. So do you remember these three questions that I had for you? I have answered your questions. Okay, okay, but do you have any more cores for me? I may have need for you later. But for now you should study and practice so you can further advance in House Telvani. Okay, goodbye. I'm going to leave you alone just how you like it. <laughs>